So food is so much more than just vitamins and minerals. So what's not talked about is phytochemicals, phytonutrients as they're always called. These are the chemicals that are contained within plants that the plants produce according to their environment to protect themselves from sunlight, from pesticide invasion. Now these chemicals when consumed by us are really beneficial for health. So fruits and vegetables contain a range of phytochemicals that we get lots of benefit from when we consume them. And different coloured fruits and vegetables have different phytochemicals, which illustrates the, the importance of having as much diversity as possible in your food. So different colours on your plate every day. You might have heard eat a rainbow, and that's because every colour of the rainbow, every colour of the fruits and vegetables will have a different phytochemical in it, which is really beneficial for us from a health point of view. Natural foods, fruits and vegetables particularly, have enzymes naturally within them. And those enzymes are beneficial for us to consume because they help the breakdown of other foods that we might consume. And we'll learn more about enzymes later on in this class. Now foods also contain pre and probiotics, which you may have heard of. Now pre and probiotics are contained within our gut. So we have lots of bacteria within our gut that we call the microflora or the microbiome. And by consuming these prebiotics um, and probiotics, we're actually feeding and providing more bacteria for our own guts. Now this bacteria, people hear bacteria and feel afraid, but these bacteria live harmoniously within us and play a really critical part in our health. They help with signaling to the immune system, they help with effective gut function, and we also now know now that they play an important part in, in, in our mood. So foods, the fruits and vegetables that we eat contain many of these pre and probiotics. And just in summary, we always want to focus on foods that are alive or have been fresh and alive recently because we don't want food that stays on the shelf for two years and is still okay to eat. Food should be degrading naturally, it shouldn't stay fresh forever. So focusing on food as close to na nature as possible and food that is indeed of course fresh. So contained in these fruits and vegetables are substances called enzymes. Now we also produce enzymes, but so do plants. Now enzymes are biological catalysts that speed up the rate of any reaction. Now what does that actually mean? Well it means that we actually produce enzymes in our saliva in an, and in our digestion in order to clip and break down food so that that helps in the digestive process so it's broken down more easily. But as well as us producing enzymes, plants can produce enzymes. So pineapple as an example of a plant that has high amounts of enzymes, bromelain, which actually will help to break down food. So food can't really be broken down without the presence of our own enzymes or plant-based enzymes that help because the digestive process would be too slow.